here from JustAskKim.com and today we're going to take a quick look at how you can do a reverse image search using Google Images in order to find the original origin of a particular image. Now I'm here in one of my blog posts and this is a blog post where I have purchased this particular image. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this locally. We're going to say we're on somebody else's blog. We're just going to pretend we're on somebody else's blog. I just don't want to incriminate anybody with this video so we're going to play with mine. And I'm going to do save image as and I'm going to save it somewhere and I've saved that locally and now I'm going to go to images.google.com and I'm going to open that image in its folder and let me bring that back around here one moment here one moment let's pull this up okay so I'll bring this image folder back around here so you can kind of see what's going on let's see if I can shove it over here in the corner and I'm going to grab this image and I'm going to pull it up into the browser to the middle. And see how that box changed? See how it now says search by image, drop image here, turn loose of it. And now you see the page went into processing. Okay, so I'm going to get this folder out of the way. And I can see here, I can see that the original image was 200 by 200. Best guess is this, this plan goals link. But here is some other places this image is found. And what you can see here is that a lot of other people are using this image. In this particular case, I'm actually not seeing 123RF.com show up, which is where that image is purchased from. That's not uncommon. Let's see, that link did me no good at all. Okay, it's not uncommon to not get the original, but what I can see is that this use is in, this image is in use all over the place. What I do not see is I do not see any reference to sites that are, for example, public domain. I don't see any, um, yeah, none of these at all. These are all different blog posts. Obviously, this website has, has purchased this image. They're using it a couple times. They're using it a couple times. No big deal. Um, I would like to see 123.rf come up, but they're not. So let me grab something else. Let's see if I can get something else to come up. Actually, let's try the Google Groups. This is actually an official image. This one was provided by, by Google. Let's save this. Save image as. Okay. Come back here. Come back here. We're going to back up. Okay. you got to be on this page in particular. Images.google.com. Pull the image into here. Let it process. It thinks about this. And see here, the first hit that comes up is Facebook groups. Facebook, Facebook.com slash about.groups. And if I go here, you'll see either it is here or it was here. Okay, this image came from here. It's correct that it's here. This is a Facebook owned image. And so that is the correct source of that. Let's see if this contains this anymore. It probably doesn't. They've moved away from using that logo. That's an older logo. And you see everybody's got it in use. But this is a logo that is under their terms of service on image usage. So, you know, you have to pay attention when you're using their images that you're using it within compliance of their stuff. Let's try a third one real quick. I know we've gone a little long here, but let's just take a third look at how this can play out. Actually, let me grab from this folder. Actually, I bet I have a meme image in here. And sometimes those are interesting. What have I got here? Okay, so I'm going to drag this image across. And this is pulling that in. And it comes up and you can see this is the meme. Best guess for this image is the meme, I don't always. I'm particular, that's exactly what this is. This is the meme image called I don't always. And it is know your memes. The reference for this would be the most interesting man in the world. That is correct. That would be your, your source of information on this meme, the story behind this meme. So you could figure out where this meme came from. This is a different images source of this. At this point, the original image for that this was taken from no longer comes up. This has been in the meme world so long that finding the original source of that image is nearly impossible. However, most of us know that almost all of these images that wind up being memes were actually copyright image, copyrighted images at one point in time. However, once they've gone this far into the meme world, and I'm not a lawyer, don't take this as legal advice, but generally speaking, once an image has gone this far into the meme world and is really, really out there in spades, then you're dealing with an image that the copyright holder has chosen not to chase for this particular use. So generally, these are okay to use. You do have to watch, though, if something is a brand new cutting 
cutting edge meme if it's not really been used or if it's one you screen captured from a video odds are the companies are going to chase those so you have to really be aware of your meme videos okay that is how to check the image source of different things that you've come across whether you've come across it in guest post submissions whether you've come across somebody using it on Facebook you know no matter where you came across it helped from here here's one more this is a cover of a book this is actually an image I took from Amazon for a book I'm promoting so I'm able to use that for promoting here it comes up that's the wheat belly book and that's the Amazon link that that specific image came from so you now know the source and then the wheat belly blog is the topic being discussed in that particular image and then those are similar so that is how you do this with Google image search I will have another video showing you how to do this with 10i mm -hmm.